Welcome back to CJ vs. Reality. I am so excited about this video and the videos to come in this series. If you guys like these videos, I will make more of them and I definitely want your input on what to talk about next. Anyways, something that I've been interested in ever since I was a little girl, I would just watch videos for hours or read books about these, is mythical creatures, aka zoological animals such as Bigfoot, Yeti, Unicorn, Slenderman, Mothman, all these crazy myths that people have come up with for hundreds and thousands of years and we still have modern sightings of to because of either how popular stories are and their attention getting or maybe they're real. It fascinates me that people have kept these stories going for so so long with our modern technology and the fact that we have not fully explored planet earth also fascinates me. What if they're real? What could be out there? What else is waiting to be discovered? Once upon a time we thought pandas and colossal squids were a myth and it turns out they're real so this stuff always fascinates me and I love researching it and watching it and just kind of being spooked. So I hope that you guys do too. Today we will be talking about one of my favorite cryptozoological creatures and that is the mermaid. In entertainment this has been one of the most popular creatures to depict. We have Disney's Little Mermaid, tons of Irish folklore, and stories dating back thousands of years. There are so many tales of sailors seeing this and falling in love with them or seeing them and then being drowned. A mermaid, if you somehow don't know, is a creature that has human on top and fish on the bottom. The first stories of mermaid sightings popped up in Assyria thousands and thousands of years ago. Mermaids are supposed to be usually female. Usually females are seen. I don't know if they're a little more forward than the males. The males are seem to exist opposite the females, but they are supposed to be beautiful creatures with fine noses, large eyes so that they can swim in sea deep under the water where there's lower light and have long hair that has been described as green but who knows it might have been kind of crazy sailor and they also are supposed to have long ears. The myth of the mermaid is so popular and it was so widespread in the medieval times that they were just assumed to be real right alongside whales and sharks. Can you imagine flipping through a marine biology book and being like oh humpback whale right next to it humpback mermaid. Wow, beautiful. So now we will get into some actual sightings that have been reported, and these date back, again, hundreds of thousands of years. Some of them are just popular myths, and some of them were reported and actually taken as truth in the towns that they were seen in. One of the earlier stories is in Holland in the 1600s, where a mermaid supposedly entered Holly, Holland, Holland, Hollywood, Holland, entered Holland through a dike and injured herself in the process. She was then rescued and taken to a nearby lake where she was nursed back to Health and then became a productive citizen who did chores, learned Dutch, and supposedly later was baptized Catholic. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Please don't mind my gills. Yikes. I'm just imagining p people that converted this mermaid to Catholicism. Like, was she born baptized because she was in the water? Or did it have to be thrice immersion? Also, did they put her in a dress? Moving on. <laughs> a story of a friendly mermaid sighting was in Israel in 2009 when a bunch of people saw what they thought was a sunbather doing tricks in the water during sunset and then she jumped off the rock into the water and they saw that she had a fin. A town that was called Kirya Yam, which I definitely butchered that, was so excited about the tourism possibilities that they offered a one million dollar reward to anybody who could capture a picture of her and bring it to them first. But this reward was never claimed, so who knows if it was real. Maybe it was a girl wearing a rubber fin. That's really popular right now. It's a popular Instagram trend. People dressing up as mermaids and sometimes they get hired for birthday parties or fancy events. Interesting world we live in. A less friendly sighting was in 2012 in Africa when a river dam was being built and work kept getting interrupted by strange stories of people being harassed by an angry river mermaid. What does that mean, harassed? What did she do? Pull their hair? Drag them into the water? Was anybody killed? The locals called her Mamba Muntu and I definitely butchered that and were eventually scared away by the, the angry river mermaid and so work on the dam ceased. So foreign workers were brought in because they weren't scared of the mermaid and then they were harassed as well and were also chased away by the project so the dam still wasn't done. So finally they performed ritual rites to ease the rage of the river mermaid and the dam was finally finished. It's interesting to me that the ritual rites actually worked. I don't know if it just like in their imagination and it helped them not be scared or if it's a real thing and the mermaid enjoyed watching people do these ritual rites. Just last year in 2017 there was a sighting of a mermaid in Newport. Oh wait, that's me. There are a ton of modern videos and sightings, corpses found on 
beaches that could be real, could be fake. A lot of them have been proved as hoaxes. And hoaxes date all the way back to the 1800s. One of the most popular one being from P.T. Barnum. If you watch the recent movie, The Greatest Showman, which I love by the way, obsessed with the soundtrack, you will recognize that name. He is the originator of the circus and liked to display odd things. One of his most popular exhibits for a little while, it was in the 1840s, and it was called the Fiji Mermaid. People paid 50 cents expecting to see a long, beautiful, slender-limbed creature, but were met with a disgusting, dried-up corpse that was made of monkey parts and fish and was only three feet long, about. Where did those three feet come from? I thought that it had a fin. Mermaids have been known as friendly creatures that fall in love with humans. Apparently they want a part of our world. And they have also been known as raging, awful creatures that are bad omens of drowning in storms, usually a disaster related to water. If mermaids are real, what do you think they are? A lot of modern scientists think that these sightings were of manatees because they are friendly and very graceful creatures. And back when a lot of these sightings were made, people hadn't discovered manatees yet. Another theory is that a lot of the modern sighting slash videos we have are of people in rubber tails, which is very possible because there are some fantastic tales out there and people telling some fantastic tales as well. I love to wonder, I think there might be something out there and friends don't let friends not believe in mermaids, so. Tell me what you think, comment down below if you think mermaids are real or fake, if you've ever seen one or what your favorite sighting of a mermaid has been. Also, let me know what creature you want me to talk about next time. You want me to talk about a real creature that we thought was myth at some point or do you want me to talk about one that we all know and love and fear? Comment down below. Please thumbs us up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.